Under high alert, Israeli citizens living near the Gaza border have been ordered to stay inside. And that's after a Palestinian Islamic Jihad, they fired rockets against the Jewish state. In response, Israel's military is conducting a second day of strikes against terror targets inside Gaza. Well, the latest round of targets are Islamic Jihad's rocket launching sites. Concern is mounting that Gaza's main terror group, Hamas, might join the fight. Chris Mitchell reports from Jerusalem. Palestinian terror groups have launched more than 250 rockets into southern Israel and as far away as Tel Aviv. The attacks come after Israel struck Palestinian Islamic Jihad rocket launching sites earlier in the day to degrade the terror group's ability to fire rockets. On Tuesday night, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu warned terror groups within Gaza not to harm Israeli civilians. Israel's policy is clear. Those who seek to harm Israel will be harmed. Those who kill our citizens will pay a heavy price. And those who fire on our cities and civilians will be held responsible for their actions. It may take time, but Israel will ultimately reach these terrorists. No one should doubt Israel's resolve to defend its citizens. The strike killed the three leaders, but at least 12 others died in those strikes. As always, Israel tried to minimize civilian casualties, and the state of Israel regrets any harm caused to non-combatants. The difference between Israel and our enemies is that we make every effort to keep the enemy's civilian population out of harm's way, while our enemies make every effort to deliberately target our civilians. We mourn the loss of innocent lives. They celebrate the loss of innocent life. Israeli security expert told CBN News that the strikes restored a level of deterrence and that Iran is the power behind Palestinian Islamic Jihad. Iran is the main uh, director of the initiatives of the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, PIJ. Uh, it's the funder. It's also the training element. I mean, at the end of the day, these terrorists need to know how to prepare a drone, how to arm a drone, how to prepare an, an IED, an explosive device. And Iranian experts are actually helping them uh, achieve these terroristic goals. Former IDF international spokeswoman Avital Leibovich says it's all part of Iran's main goal. The most important message I would tell the American audience is the Iranian presence. In three out of Israel's four borders, there is Iranian presence, and I don't mean it in a positive way. I mean, Iran is trying to build some kind of a network of terror groups uh, by uh, delivering here arms, strategic weapons, different capabilities. They say it loud and clear. They don't want Israel to exist. The major question today is if Hamas, the major terror group in the Gaza Strip, will join the fight. That would indicate a major escalation and the potential for many more days of fighting. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem. Well, please pray for the security of Israel. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Uh, this has been going on for far too long. And when you really start naming names, Iran has been the foremost funder of state-sponsored terrorism in the world today. And we need to say, yes, these sanctions need to increase. We need to cut off the flow of money for training for this kind of terrorist activity. And, and, and why would we ever want to get in any kind of peace agreement or nuclear arms deal with them? We need to make sure that it never becomes a nuclear power. This is the root, and it's a deep root, is anti-Jewish bias. It's the worst form of anti-Semitism you can possibly imagine. And it's not just Iran doing it, it's throughout the Middle East. There was a shooting yesterday in Tunisia, an armed man coming into a celebration of, of Jews as they returned to Tunisia, the Jewish community there. This kind of rage against the Jewish people. We all need to recognize what the uh, League of Nations recognized 100 years ago. All people have a right of self-determination. The Jewish people were specifically identified by the League of Nations. The Brits were given a mandate over Palestine to create a Jewish state so that they could protect themselves. The world was recoiling in horror over World War I, over what had happened in the Russian Pale. They were trying to find a way to protect Jews. Here we are 100 years later, we're still trying to find a way. 
Let's pray. Let's ask God for his protection over Israel. 